Hey everyone. So it's a little bit dark. Hopefully you can see me okay. Okay, I'm just waiting for my car to turn off. Um, anyways, I'm here at the Fort Magruder Hotel in Williamsburg, Virginia. I have with me my Uncle Jack and my dad. We've done an investigation here before, but we last time when we filmed we didn't catch anything, so I never uploaded that You're video to YouTube. Too. But I am gonna really. record tonight, and I'm gonna upload everything, even if I don't catch anything. But we're super excited because we have some new equipment that we're gonna be testing out. Um, also, too, if you want to know some more information about the hotel, there is a website. I'll have a link down below for you guys to go ahead and check that out. But here we are heading in. Okay, so this is what the place looks like when you get in. Ooh, look, they used to have a big cabinet right here that had a lot of artifacts in it, but. They must have moved it, but it's a very historic hotel. Oh, here it is, right here. It's a fun desk, Really awesome. Okay, so we are inside the hotel. We are on the first floor right now. We just were speaking with the lady at the front desk and she said that on the first floor, when you go all the way down to the very end, um, that there's a lot of activity that happens down here since they've done the renovations. Also too, in their lunchroom, which she said around 10 o'clock is when a lot of activity starts. She said that somebody was in there and they saw a shadow um, walk right past them. So we're gonna go and check out that area after here. And then we're gonna go head up to the third floor, which is where a lot of people experience activity as well. So. We're gonna do a lot more tonight than we did the last time. Um, and like I said, I am gonna upload this footage whether I catch anything or not. But let me go ahead and turn my camera around so you guys can see. Right here is the first floor. She was also saying one night she was working and the service elevator came down by itself. And when it opened, she saw a shadow coming out of it. So. She said to go past the double doors, which is right here. So come on, you guys. Come on, Jack. He's all the way back there filming. I wonder if she means those, she probably means those double doors down there. I've actually never been down this far. And really, I don't even think I've been on the first floor. Okay. Wait a second. I don't remember if she said to come all the way down here or not. I'm getting a really weird feeling being down here though. I'm almost positive this is where she said to go. Did she say to come down this far, Jack? Yes, she did. Yeah, but those are dub right there where you just walked through. Those were double doors also. Yeah. This is the conference area. I don't remember her saying come all the way down here. Yeah. My dad's got his box of equipment. All right, so we're getting set up now. Jack has these little balls that, I believe they're cat balls, but if yeah. you barely touch them, they light up. And these things are actually really awesome. <laughs> He has two of them. Where are you setting the other one up? Okay, so he has the other one set up right there. I need to go and find my dad so we can get the REM pod. I think he's still down here. No? What the heck? Dad? Where did he go? Dad? This is creepy. Dad? Hell no. Don't want to be locked in there by myself. Oh, it's the fitness. Where did he go? Okay guys, so I have my little Ovulus app opened up on my phone. And before I could even ask anything, it says phone and agent. 
got the balls here. I'm waiting for my dad to come back down because he's got all the equipment. Aside from Jack's equipment. Okay guys, so we are back in the conference room. Just me and my dad. Jack stayed up in the other room. Balls. Jack's gonna meet us down here, but anyways, we have this. we have the REM pod set up. We also have one of Jack's little cat balls. Dad is over here plugging in the spirit box right now, and then I'm gonna start um I'm gonna use this. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just think it's funny. start the EVP session. Ooh, not focusing. Okay. I wanted to try to turn the camera where you can get me in it and also the room. Let's take this further. Um, bear with me. Ooh. Okay. Temperature gaze. Gauge is fluctuating. Okay, so there we go. Now you guys can see the things. That's just the temperature gauge. Whenever there's like a one, one degree, I think that's what it is. Whenever it changes by one degree, it goes off. Okay, now that that's stopped. This right here is the K2 meter. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on as well. Um, and yeah, if this lights up all the way and it makes a noise, it is detecting some sort of EMF. So I'm just gonna put that right there. You guys will be able to see that too. And now, as you can see, like it's not going off for any reason. So if this ends up going off, it's because there's a spirit around. <laughs> okay, that was me. I like, I moved the table a little bit. Like I said, this thing is like super sensitive. Any sudden movement will make this move. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just be very gentle. Okay, and I'm not touching the table at all. All right, so I have the voice recorder set up to where the only time that it's recording is when it picks up, um, picks up a sound. So it stays on standby mode unless it picks up something. Hopefully my father clicking the buttons doesn't interfere. Go ahead and power this on. Okay. Set that down lightly. My name is Renee, and this is my dad, Gary. And we want to communicate with anybody that may be here with us. We have a couple of different devices that we can use to communicate with you. We have the REM pod right here, which has the red light. If you go near that and touch it, it'll light up like this. We also have this little ball. If you go near that and touch that, it'll light up. And then we also have the K2 meter, which is another red light. If you go near this, it'll detect your energy and it'll light up and it'll make a noise. Yeah, um, K2 meter. My Uncle Jack just entered into the room as well. I'm doing an EVP session right now, Jet. Okay. He's about to start talking. Okay, this is the first floor conference room. Is that somebody? How do you look? Jack, why don't you look out there? Okay, we just heard a noise outside. Just see if those double doors shut. That was really weird. That was a big noise. We want to know if there's anybody here with us. We don't mean to impose, we just want to communicate. We're here in the conference room if you want to come and join us. If it makes you feel better, I can also dim the lights a little more.
dim the lights as much as I can without turning them completely off. And let me tell you, it is creepy feeling. Did you see anybody out there? I used my SLS cam. I didn't. Well, I mean, I'm saying, was there any doors that were shut? I mean, we heard a loud bang. I know. I didn't, um, I didn't notice what doors were. I just meant the double doors to get down into here. Were those open or were they shut? Um, I didn't notice. I didn't go up that far. Oh, okay. Okay guys, so as you just saw, we did not catch anything in the conference room. We didn't want to spend too much time in there just because we have a lot more that we want to explore. So now we're going to head to the front desk so that lady can show us where the lunchroom is at. Um, and that is where she was telling us that somebody caught a picture of a apparition. So I'm going to go ahead and take a lot of pictures while we're down there too. Yeah, walk back up to the front now. Okay guys, so we are in the bar area right now. Okay, so I'm gonna tell what the lady just told us. I could not film her, she didn't give us permission to do that, so I didn't do that. But what she said is that this chair, if you can see it, last time she was in here, it was facing the bar, and now it's pulled out. So she told us that, so that's a little creepy. She said that she was in the red room, which is this room right over here. There's like some glass doors, it's not open, but she said when she was in there cleaning it one night, there was chairs that were moving in here. I'm Renee. I'm Jack. And this is my dad, Gary. We would like to communicate with anybody that is here. The lady that just walked us into this room said that she was cleaning the room right next door and she heard chairs moving in here. Do you think that you could move one of the chairs for us? I don't, the recorder keeps picking up on different sounds. That's just the temperature gauge. If there's anybody here with us, let it be known. Show yourself. I don't know if it's just picking up on the, um, the air conditioning unit, it might be. We would like to communicate with you. I'm using my SLS camera, or my SLS app on my phone, I should say. And it was just picking mm -hmm. up a figure right there in the chair. I need and now, that disc. And now it's not. I was just getting a figure right here in the chair, and now it's gone. Mm. You think you could come back and sit in the chair again? Looks like you were right there. I did, I picked up on something. Alright. Hopefully you guys can fall. see that. It could just be going off the outline of the chair, but I doubt it. Look, Jack. Yeah, I see it. Is that you over there by the red chair? I mean, of course, there's a lot of red chairs in here, but right there in front of me by the little device, is that you? I see you moving. Could you stop or move somewhere else, sit in a different chair? Can you move to a different chair? It could just be your lighting. Some It doesn't pick up when you don't have really good lighting. Oh, I don't know if you guys just caught that. There was another figure right there. I see you right there on that red chair, standing behind it. Can you move to a different chair?
It's just the temperature gauge. Are you still standing there? Do you come to this bar often? Did you move the chair? Jack, the REM pod's going off. Oh my gosh. Thank what? you, thank you, thank you. Did the REM pod go off? The REM pod just went off, Dad. Did it really? It did. So I'm guessing you do come to this bar often then, right? Are you sitting right oh, there? Wait. That's right there. What? When you said that. I what did it say? It. I think he said yes. So what's that? <laughs> okay. Run through these doors right here. I hope this is where she was directing us to the last time. If so, then why did she take us through that way? Okay, but this is their lunch room. Yeah, I mean, this room just... This, a dining room. this room smells creepy. I'm going to set the room pod like right here. Make it easier for them to... No. All right, so we are now in the lunch room. I have the REM pod set up right here on the chair that's in front of me. If you go to that red light and touch it, it'll light up green. So if there's anybody in here with us, make your presence known now. Do you hear that? Do you hear the talking? I keep it's hearing. Really, I don't see anything. If you touch that black box, it go different colors. It go from green all the way to red. If you touch it. Oh my gosh! I just pulled up my Ovulus app and it's saying bacon. What? Bacon. I don't know if you guys can read that, but What's yes, saying? it says bacon. There probably will be bacon here tomorrow. Hi. Okay. We're just here. We're just here investigating. We talked to the lady up front. She let us come back here. Okay. Yep. We got permission. Okay. <laughs> we're just sitting here. Yeah, I know, but you can. <laughs> uh, you think yeah. you might want to sit here because they might know you. Oh my God, Jack! Oh, 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 me, me. <laughs> hey, have do you, you uh, have you witnessed any paranormal? We were we on? were just in the bar area, and we have our little device right there on the right. chair, and it lights up green whenever something goes near it and touches it. And we mm -hmm. had it sitting on the bar, and we were sitting on the chairs over here, and it went off. Yeah, because there was more people here one time before. A guy was here, and he said he in the bar area. Uh huh. He said needle like to went crazy in that bar area and he, he saw something uh, yeah. here, you know, and then back behind the kitchen. He, I can't even work that night. He was in the, up in the bathroom behind the kitchen area, but in the back back there. Uh-huh. And I'm like, what in the world? Who was this back here on his nose? Uh-huh. And that, anyway, he was back there. He said me was just going crazy. Yeah. If you go close to that, see if that set that up. Oh, Daddy. It, it might. <laughs> Why do you want to see? Cause, uh, see I Dad, know. really? It's not setting it up. It is. You have to get closer to the antenna. I set the range to be closer. But <laughs> you do don't you, have the antenna up. It, it yes, is sir. up, Dad. Yes, my gosh. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> he's, yes, sir. He you, can't see and he's tired. <laughs> oh, what's your first name? Did, oh, you, did you adjust the range down or something? Yes, I what's did. What's his first name? Leon. 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 Yeah. Well, nice to meet you. Do you know okay. Leon? <laughs> oh, really, Jack? He did not say he wanted to be included. <laughs> yeah, you know, like sometimes, you know, like... Like you can be walking, you can feel it. You can feel the spirit behind. You know, you right? Know, you can almost hear the footsteps. Right. And I stop. I don't see anything. Where do you feel like you've sensed the most stuff at? Since you've probably been like here for a while. Like on the second floor. On that, on that really? Back, wing back there. Because one night I was coming off the second floor. I, I thought it was the third floor. No, I come off the elevator. Okay. And I could have sworn. I, you know how you see a silhouette go down the hall and yeah. go around the corner. I saw a silhouette go around the hall. Oh, you seen a shadow figure? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, seen a shadow. And. Uh, one night I was at the car we eat in the shop, I stayed in the maintenance shop, right? Right. And they got an AC unit, an affordable AC unit. So that stays on all the time, 24-7. Right. So I got food on the table, 
came downstairs, my son, let me go up and eat my lunch. Went up there, the lights was off, the AC was off. I said, come oh. on, man, you got to be kidding me. Oh, wow. my, well, did, was your food still there? Yeah, food was still there. <laughs> yeah, food was still there. You and know, this was on the second floor. The, second floor. The, the lady at the front said there's no one staying on the second floor. She said there's somebody on every floor except for the second floor. <laughs> but I thought, I thought that the deaths that happened here in this hotel, like the little boy, or no, it was a, girl, it was a little girl but a grown man. Okay. I thought that happened on the third floor. I, I, don't, I don't know what floor it was, you know, but it's, you know, and I got, I got so used to it now, don't even bother me, right. you know. And, uh, right. But one night we had this call. And the guy was on the fourth floor, he said, you know, because the AC units are stacked, one on top of another, you know, right. where they are in the room. Right. And he said, I can't sleep because I got all this noise coming, you know. Dang, so you could, you could hear it real loud. So I go down to the third floor. Mm -hmm. Wasn't any noise on the third floor, wasn't it, you know, under him. Right. So I go to the second floor, all you could hear this loud noise in the room. So I called the front desk, I said, is anybody in the that what room it was? And if oh, I didn't room two something, she said, no, that room is not being occupied. What? You don't know what room it is? Cause I maybe... can't remember. It was, it was on the lower end of the numbers down that way. Wow. Like 217, 217. Two, maybe, somewhere in the area. Maybe before we leave, we could just go up to that so, hall uh, and then go near that room. So I went in the room. Uh huh. The TV was wide open. Oh I my mean, gosh. It was two baby bottles sitting on the table. Baby bottles? Yeah, it was two baby bottles sitting on the table, half full of milk, and it was a, it was a container of milk on the table. You don't think anyone snuck in there, right? I, I, don't, I have no clue. So I, I just, mean, because that's just weird. Yeah, I just you took That is weird. There's no way you can get in those doors without Yeah, food. I know, but yeah, that's Yeah, I took the so milk, weird. I took the bottles and everything, took them to the housekeeping, put them in the housekeeping, kept them moving, you know. Yeah, that I is mean, really weird, I though. I security <laughs> in the hotel, and there's no way unless you had the key. That you got a key, right. that's right. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you this to have dinner. Yeah, I gotta go. But this young lady did with some girls here, and they had locked the pool up. Right. You know, they had locked the pool up. So I get this call on the radio from the front desk. Leon, uh, uh, the kids down there say it's a lady trying to get out of the pool every day, and she's banging on the door and everything. You know, so I'm at night going. I told you she gone gone in the pool every day. I go, I go there and then they was all frantic and everything. I said, what's going on? She's it was a lady there trying to get out. I said, the pool is locked. And I went in, you know, I went in, I ain't seen nobody there. But they were, I mean, they were, they were screaming and stuff, man. They said it was a lady there trying to get out. I said, oh, well. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, that did feel creepy. We we walked in there, not into the actual pool, but, right. like, to the door of the pool. <laughs> See? Yeah. I heard dirt slamming. Yeah. Right? When I go in the pool that night, when I locked the pool up and closed the door, you know, cut the lights off and uh -huh. stuff. I make sure I have my flashlight burning. I was like, Oh, I bet you, I bet you do. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are gonna go ahead and head up to the second floor now. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Dad. All right. That's all maintenance, guys. Oh, he's seen to be pretty convinced that there was some spiritual activity going. Well, on he's there. been here for a while. Well, I'm sure you know when you walk around spaces that are like very quiet and empty even like uh, when i worked at bush gardens at night oh yeah i hear all kinds of shit <laughs> i was thinking maybe it was animals or something oh yeah the second floor is the creepiest but uh maybe not look at the ceiling this is the only floor that the ceiling is this low this is crazy I went down this. so he said to make a right which we just did what is jack Where's doing your uncle come on jack he's gone Jack, he's playing around with us. No, he's playing around. Jack, what are you doing? Okay. Um, yeah, there's nobody staying up on this floor, by the way. Well, who was staying in the hotel? You don't. There's the service elevator. There is a door that's open. No, I don't think there's very few people staying here. No. Well, no, there's not. But there's nobody on the second floor at all. This is exactly where he said to go. And then turn right here. You know, Jack, we should Yo. make another investigation in your town, though. Okay, That's so let me... And we did capture uh, a uh, shadow figure. Let me just say that all of these rooms down here, this is where they're doing the remodeling at. Whenever there's, like, renovation taking place... Anywhere? Oh, we have a disruption. That's oh. what I'm saying. So let's go down here. So this is going to be like not good. 
Oh, oh my God, does it smell like mold though? Because if it does, I don't want to date it down here. Oh my God, they don't like does this it? crap at all. Do you think it smells weird? Oh. Cool. It smells kind of musty. Okay, L if really though, is that mold? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that mold, really? Well, th that was mold. They would have already taken it. Alright, there's mold on the ceiling. Yeah. You can see it. Oh, hell no. You just opened that door by itself? It's open. That's creepy. Oh my god, is he really creepy? <laughs> Go on, Jack. Go, Dad. Something. Go. Don't leave that door open. It's open. I've actually never been in one of the rooms, so I have no clue what they look like. No, there's no for there. Pretty basic. Nothing. I get nothing. Well, let me out first. Oh! Sorry, I just ran into Jack's head. I already have breathing problems. I gotta get out of this hallway. Yeah, well, it's going in their lungs. We speak. Why did they send us up to this uh, floor? Well, I mean, he didn't say we had to go through here. It's not the whole floor in general. It's just that hallway. Oh. You guys, this is a really nice hotel to stay in. It's just that that section right there, they're having some water damage, so they're having to you know, no, remodel that whole section, but I promise you the rest of the hotel does not look like that. And the last time that we were here, that oh, did not look like that either. But I guess that recently happened. Hallway. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap we it up. We make a trip out on uh, <laughs> We did not pick up there, on anything yeah. here on the second floor. There's a place out there. Honestly, we haven't been up here that long, yeah, but it's getting really late. Floor. So we're gonna go ahead and go. But I hope that you guys and, uh, enjoyed this video and I'll see hot. you in my next one. Bye guys. One of the